Okay. All right. So can someone tell me what they did first to solve this problem? Go ahead, Edgar. Um, I subtracted 96 from 26. Okay, so you subtracted 96 from both sides? Yeah. All right. And when you subtract a number, does that change the inequality? Does not change the inequality. All right, what's 96 from 201? It's okay. 105. Next step. Divide by 2.1. When I divide by 2.1, does it change the inequality? No. When does it change? When you what, what, what? Divide or multiply by a negative. Thank you for the expertise there, Edgar. Yes, when you multiply or divide by a negative, okay? So we do not change this. And what is 105 divided by 2.1? 50. And this is where I said you could use a calculator. That does not bother me. I'm not going to ask you to do that by hand, okay? So we get 50. So how would you check your answer to make sure it's correct? I know I'm not going to ask you to do this on the quiz, but I just wanted to say it out loud. How do we check? Go ahead, Margaret. Go ahead. Yep. So you're going to put 50 in for X. See if you get 201. Is that all I have to do is just check the 50? So if I check 50 and he gave me 201, I know that answer is correct. Yeah, there's something else you better check because that only takes care of the equals, doesn't it? We still have the inequality, the less than. So what else should I probably check? You need to check numbers less than 50. How many should you check? Two, ten, one, one. To be honest with you, one's enough. Okay, if you check one number and it works, you know you got the right inequality. So what number would you pick that's less than 50? 49 would be fine. <coughs> and then you want to make sure that that result is what? What better be true with this number in relation to the beginning equation? It better be less than 201. This is if you want to check. I am not going to ask you to check. If you get an answer and you want to make sure it's correct, I'm hoping if you want to take the extra effort, you're going to know you got it right. I'm not going to force you to do it. Is that okay on that problem? Pretty good. How many you did that one pretty well? That's awesome. That's great. Okay, next problem. Who is going to tell me how to do this one? Go ahead, Jasmine. What's your first step? Okay. Does it change the inequality? No. Nope. And 76 minus 34. Next step. What would you like to divide by? A negative 12. Do I change the inequality? Yes. And 42 divided by negative 12. Negative 3.5. How many remember switch the inequality? That's about half of you. That's one thing you want to make note of when you take your quiz on Friday. Make sure you remember if you multiply or divide by a negative, you've got to switch the inequality. <clears throat> if you forgot to switch it and you tried one of those numbers, that's going to now be greater than, or I'm sorry, in that case it has to be less than, it's not going to work. Okay? Or if you're using, checking your table, you can check your table. What should be true here if you look at the table? At a negative 3.5, what better be true? <laughs> it's 
what? If, it, if I'm actually looking at negative 3.5, what should be my answer? If I put three, a negative 3.5 in for x, what should this answer be? 76 is right, Kelly, because I'm taking the actual equal. If I take a number now bigger than a negative 3.5, that's what this x stands for. I need a number bigger than a negative 3.5, which is what kind of a number? What's bigger than a negative 3.5? positive number would work. What kind of number would you like, Kelly? Seven. If I now try seven, what better be true about my answer? Looking at that equation in the beginning. If I put a seven in here, this answer better be what? That answer better be what in relation to 76? Bigger. Smaller. Smaller. Remember, the mouth of the inequality is opened at the 76. So 76 is my bigger number. That means this number has to be smaller than that. So if you try a number like 7, it better be smaller than 76. What? It's negative 50. Jasmine already did it for us. So we're looking good. Questions on those two? Oh, we have one more to go. All right. This is what you were doing yesterday. Do we actually want to find this answer algebraically? But the first step you need to do when you're solving a system of equations, that's a vocab term we need to have, okay? What do we need to do first if we want to solve this algebraically? Martha? Okay, so tell me what you mean by that. And should those lines intersect? Why? Different slopes. Different slopes. Not different strokes. It's probably an old joke that you got. Yeah, I can tell. That's, I'm really aging myself. <laughs> What's our next step? This is kind of like what you were asking me before, Emily, okay? What do you think, Jasmine? Get X on one side. Get X on one side. Does it matter which side you pick? No. Doesn't matter. Which side would you guys like? Left side. Left side. Okay, I heard left more often. I'm going to put all of my x's on the left. How do I take a negative x and put it over here? You have to add x. Because if you have a negative x and you add an x to it, they're going to cancel each other out. So what's 5x's plus another x? 6x. Six x. Six x. Okay, now we have all our x's on one side. Next step. What can we now get rid of that's over by the x? The 6 or the 15? The 15. I see add 15. So how do we get rid of it? Subtract. And negative 3 minus 15. Negative 18. And what is a negative 18 divided by a positive 6? Negative, negative 3. Now remember, guys, if you need to use a calculator to do that, you'll, you'll have a calculator, okay? You just got to show me your work. This is what I consider work. X is a negative 3. Are you done with the problem? No. You still have to find Y. Does this, do I have to find Y1 and Y2? No. Why not? Yeah, so what better be true about y1 and y2? They better be the same. So does it matter which equation I put the negative 3 in? It does not matter. You pick one of them. Which one do we want to use, Bobby? y1 or y2 would you like us to use? y1? Okay. I'm coming back up to that equation. y equals 5 times the negative 3. 
was 5 multiplied by a negative 3? Negative 15. Add your 15. So my ordered pair, this is the final thing you write down. X gets written first, Y gets written second. So here's my final answer. That is where they intersect. Questions on the three prompts we did today? Can I text the words to get a different answer? Yeah, I can text the words. Unless I made a mistake here. Okay, no, I can text the words. Does anybody have questions on these three that we just did today? So after that question, you asked me about what could be on the quiz. Just some of the things that could be on the quiz. And then also what I talked about earlier in the hour. Hopefully that gives you an idea. Is that okay?